All right, and we're back today. Today is kind of a, a different video because we just saw something very cool in my shorts feed, and it was a, uh, it was this uh, high stakes slingshot that uh, made by Aries. Bang. <laughs> two zero seven two. Make sure to check them out. Two zero seven two A. Yeah. Anyways, let's let's just <laughs> let's just skip to the to the short though. So they they shoot the ring directly up. How many points is that? Is that eight points? Six points? No, it's I think six it's, points. Yeah, six points, but then it's eight points with a with a low with a tier one hang. All right, so that's quite yeah. a lot. That can really make up your uh, your differential against like a tier three or something like that. Well, you also automatically win auto, pretty much. Yeah, you automate. Yeah, so if here you, they if they you show throw auto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there's something wrong with you. Yeah, I think I mean I think they they show them hitting this three times in a row here. You can see it once there, and then they. Put it back in another time, and then take it off. Put it back in, load it again, and it hits again. So, you know, I think this is the most consistent one we've seen. You see him here actually lining up the ring. See how I'm lining? So, I, I I'm sure the ring needs to be in a certain orientation for this to hit every time. What do you think? Yes, but I don't know how, cause the like I'm assuming he's using like bands or or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And they'll wear out over time. And since this is so precise, I think it's unlikely it's going to hit, really. You think you think it's like not possible to tune this up at Worlds? Like, if it doesn't uh, well, work as you go like, as you get there, you tune it on the practice field? Well, like, think about, like, spin-up, right? Mm -hmm. People were spending all year tuning their flywheels. And you never saw a 100% consistent from the well, autonomous well, that's just well, that, well, that's just because when, a, when the the disc hits the the goal right you it can very easily like the the, the momentum isn't all lost so it can still come off but like this can the fly this can also hits, vary. yeah i know but i'm saying like the flywheel can hit the the goal pretty like i think there's teams whose flywheels and their programs will hit the goal 100 percent of the time but it just won't go in it would like bounce off yeah, I mean, it, this could hit the the stake 100% of the time, and it's a lot smaller of an area for it to actually hit. So, like, it might be able to hit the high stake, but I don't think it'll go on all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just feel like even if it's 66% consistent, I still think it's 100% viable. Because imagine in the best of three, you run this, you're guaranteed to win two of the matches pretty much. Well, the only issue is... so. Every single um, team that does high stake or in auto has to give up goal rush because you have to do it at well, the very what start. Well, what if what if it's a line mm -hmm. so precise? Yeah, and it has to be it has to be the goal rush team, right? Yeah, so that means that you will not get that top stake on there. So, like, let's let's say your auto does mess up, you could actually lose auto. Yeah. Like, if you don't get a top stick. I mean, that's not super likely, but it just, it puts you in a deficit. If it, like, a huge deficit as soon as the match starts. Because you're probably going to lose auto if, since you're not rushing the goal. And then you also lost third goal. Yeah, so then, like, so then kind of, like, the thing is, like, if it doesn't hit, you're guaranteed to lose the match pretty much. Yeah, it's just a because, lot Because you'll be down it. auto and you'll be down third goal. If he doesn't hit, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I think our our verdict on this is uh, don't build it. I don't think I don't think it will work at Worlds because, by the way, uh, newsflash: uh, their gravity is different on different places on Earth. So, uh, that small. Like I know it sounds small, but like even I think in spin up, I think some teams have mentioned it before with and expansion max and stuff right where slight gravitational like changes can make the world of difference in a very high precision like element or design correct yeah also, and, I, and i think this is um, this is exactly what what like would be the highest position precision design yeah preci precision precision uh also, I mean, theirs might be new, but uh, the oh, this like wear most and of the tear. time, this wear the, and tear. yeah, yeah, the the world's ones are going to be completely brand new, so it's going to be a lot harder to fall on. 
Yeah, th- I mean, it might be new because it's a high stake. Most people don't like. Oh mess yeah, with it, I mean, but... I don't mean by I don't mean by the the stick. I mean by the robot. There's wear and tear in the robot. Like, imagine how hard that that slingshot is hitting. I don't even know how it's powered. I I've, I've seen some people do pistons. Some people. Just I think do it's nice piston. They're, they're, they're pistonizing this one. Oh okay. Yeah. Then yeah. So if you fill it up to a different psi, then. It'll it'll go a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, well, this one. Let's let see this one. Also, oh, you see how you saw that one f- uh, flipped, right? That yeah. Having a flip versus not flipping. Because this one just doesn't. Yeah. Flip. That one always flips. This one does the ten ten G one does not flip. Yeah. And we can see in there. But their I'm uh, but I'm pretty sure they said they could not get their ten ten G could not get theirs consistent. Yeah. Anyways, their comments. Nope, <laughs> there's there's no, they do not respond to any comments. But yeah, I love to, love to know more about this. And if you guys are you know watching this video or other teams are doing a slingshot, no please. Battery clips. Battery clips. <laughs> are using battery clips. Yeah. Well, so what do you think the is the flex wheels for for the for the hard stop? Where? Here. Leaving. Um. Let me let me expand. Uh, Sorry, yeah. go. Yeah, oh, hard stop, those flex hard wheels. Stop, hard stop, hard stop, because the C channel wasn't here before. Yeah, yeah. And it's there afterwards. Yeah. And they're also okay. Those are using latex bands. Those are a lot better than the regular rubber bands for the for just not being able to you know re- like just conforming to their original shape. A lot better. So. Yeah, I mean that's true, but they're still gonna be like micro wear and tear on it that's i mean it's gonna cause inconsistency i mean if you know the time if you know like a time constant for how long it takes for a certain length of latex band to kind of degrade right you can kind of calculate how much you need to like wrap it like every how many minutes for it to go back right like there's a lot of factors to account for that that's right you can't really just easily find that Hey, but I mean, in a perfect world with perfect engineering, you can make this happen. Well, in a perfect world, nothing changes, so it hits 100% of the time. Yes. Okay, but I mean, for, for teams that are doing this and are like wondering about making a consistency, it, maybe it'd be nice to see if you can do trial and error tests, like where you can kind of find out how long it takes for it to you know, wear it down to where it doesn't hit anymore. And then how much more de- tension you need, right? Kind of a, maybe have like sc- little screws or little standoffs sticking out behind the latex or rubber band, so you can just wrap it around that to kind of ex- increase the tension. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm um, giving this design nest here, but I don't think you, anyone should do this. 